Hi everyone! Today you are going to learn the tricks for a smooth tango walking. I'm Silvia Mezzasoma and this is Idea Tango. You are going to work with two exercises. First I'm going to show you the exercises, then I'm going to give you the technical hints. Before doing any exercise, make sure that you have achieved a correct tango posture and that your projection and collection are also correct. To see how, you can check my previous videos. I'm going to leave you the link in the description of the video here below. In the first exercise, you project in front four times and while projecting, you bring the weight to the ball of your foot and you bend the standing leg. While collecting, you stretch the standing leg and you bring the weight back to the middle of your foot. Four times in front, four times to the side, four times to the back. Change leg, repeat with the other leg. Four times in front, move the weight to the ball of the foot, bend the standing leg, collect, stretch the standing leg, bring the weight back to the middle of the foot. Four times to the side. Four times to the back. while bending the standing leg and projecting the free leg. Then you push the floor and you take a step. When you collect, you stretch the standing leg and bring the weight back to the middle of the foot. And from here you go to the backward. And you repeat four times. Change your leg and repeat again four times. Then you do the same exercise on the side. So you take a projection to the side, push the floor, step to the side, collect. And you repeat again four times. Your torso, core, and standing leg is your pillar. The free leg is relaxed and free to move. You need to stabilize your pillar before mobilizing the free leg. Therefore, if at any point in time you lose your balance, make sure to recover it before taking any other movement. The first exercise is the preparation to the step. When you bend the standing leg, you want to keep your upper body straight and vertical and you want to relax the tailbone towards ground. So, when you project forward, you don't want to bring your hips forward and you don't want to put any weight on the free leg. To check it, you can try and lift the free leg off of the ground. When you project to the side, remember to relax your tailbone towards the ground. The free leg is always free of weight.
When you project to the back, you don't want to bring your torso forward. Again, your free leg is free of weight. One of the most common mistakes while collecting after a projection backward is the ducks bump. We said that when we bend the standing leg, we want to relax the table towards the ground. When we project backward, the tailbone cannot point towards the ground anymore. When we collect, we have to remember to bring the tailbone towards the ground Otherwise, we end up with a duck's bum. During the preparation of the step, you also want to start pushing the ground. What does it mean? When you jump, what does it happen to your body? When you prepare a jump, you bend the legs, you bring all your weight on the ball of the feet and you free the heels. In this moment, the pressure of the ball of the feet to the ground increases. Here you're pushing the floor. Then you release this pushing vertically and you jump. The more you bend the legs and the more you push the floor, the higher you jump. The preparation of a tango step is exactly like the preparation of a jump, but then you release the pushing of the floor horizontally rather than vertically. So, to prepare a step, stand on one leg, start with your weight in the middle of your foot, then bring your weight to the ball of the standing foot while bending the standing leg, and free the heel of the standing leg. At the same time, you project. Feel the pushing of the standing leg on the floor. For the leaders, I would like you to do an additional exercise. As you have to lead the step, you not only have to do it correctly, but you also have to communicate to your partner the direction of the step. Then, you leaders, first do the exercise as we did so far, by always bringing your weight to the ball of the standing foot. Then, repeat the exercise by also indicating the direction of the step. For the forward step, there is no change. As you want to communicate that you are going to move forward, bringing your weight to the ball of the standing foot also communicates your intention forward. For the side step, while you bring your weight to the ball of the standing foot, also move your torso horizontally in the direction of the step. Still keep your free leg mainly free of weight. The horizontal movement of your torso is very, very small. For the backward step, bring your weight to the heel of your standing foot rather than to the ball of your standing foot. So move your weight to the backward threshold of your axis rather than to the forward threshold of your axis. To see what I mean, you can check my previous video on the tango posture. Still, keep the projecting leg free of weight. Take the step and why do you go up and down when you walk while you are supposed to keep the same level? Well, the reason is simple because now you know that to prepare a step you have to bend the standing leg, push the floor, stretch the free leg. But now when you take a step, you land on a stretched leg and you forget to bend it. 
It's like if you land from a jump on stretched legs. You wouldn't do that, would you? When we land from a jump, we bend our legs as much as they were bent before jumping, especially if we want to take consecutive jumps. This is exactly what happens when you walk. You land on a stretched leg, but then you take another step so you bend it again and you continue in this way. When you transfer your axis, you have to pay attention to exchange the status of your legs. The one that was your standing leg now stretches to become the new free leg. And the one that was your free leg now bends to become the new standing leg. This happens at the same time and during the transfer of the axis. On the step backwards, when you transfer your axis, remember of the duck's bum, especially you followers. When you bend the new standing leg, you also relax the tailbone towards the ground. Finally, once you master the second exercise, in order to take your push and leg synchronization to the next level, do it again by taking a step longer than your projection. Keep your level the same after the projection. If this video was helpful, make sure to register to my YouTube channel to stay up to date. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. And now, tell me about you. Which of the technique advices was the most useful to you? Tell me with a comment. Practice at all. Enjoy your technique exercises.